at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to study few more topics of multiple integrals. So let's begin with the first topic that is area in Cartesian coordinates. The area A bounded by the curve y is equals to f1 of x and y is equals to f2 of x intersecting at the point P of AB and Q of CD. So we will draw two curves uh, y is equals to f1x and y is equals to f2x. So for example this is y is equals to f1x and this is the curve y is equals to f2 of x. Okay. And these two curves are intersecting at the point suppose P A comma B and C of Q of C comma D, right? So it is given by A is equals to double integration A to C, Y is equals to F1X to F2X dy dx. Okay, so here we are making a vertical strip. Okay, so you can see the vertical strip starts from F1X and it ends at F2X. So the limits of Y is what? F1X to F2X. And if you will move this strip, Okay, so the x coordinate will change from A to C. Okay, so the limit of x will be A to C, right? And if the equation of the curves are represented as x is equals to g1 of y and x is equals to g2 of y, then this area is given by double integration. Now, here the limits of y is what? B to D and the limits of x, g1 by 2, g2 by x divided. Okay, so this is the formula we will use to find the area in Cartesian coordinates. Now, we will study area in polar coordinates. So, the area A bounded by the curves R is equals to F1 theta, R is equals to F2 theta and the lines theta is equals to theta 1 and theta is equals to theta 2. Okay, so we have suppose this curve R is equal equals to f1 of theta, right? And some another curve r is equals to f2 of theta, okay? And we have these two lines, theta is equals to theta 1 to theta 2. So, suppose this is the theta is equals to theta 1 and theta is equals to theta 2, right? So, the integration is given by area is equals to double integration theta 1 to theta 2. Now you can see the limits of R that is F1 theta to F2 theta. Suppose if you draw a, this elementary DDS vector, right? So it enters the region from F1 theta. So the limits of R will be R is equals to F1 theta and it ends at F2 theta, okay? So the limits of R are F1 theta to F2 theta and the limits of theta. So, theta 1, 2, theta 2, right? So, the limit of theta will be theta 1, 2, theta 2. And in place of dx, dy, now we have r, dr, d theta. This r is for Jacobian. Okay, now let's study one example. Find the area enclosed by the curves y is equals to x square and y is equals to x. This is the example given in Cartesian coordinates. Okay, so let's begin with the solution. Here, the point of intersection of the parabola and line y is equals to x are obtained by parabola is given that is y is equals to x square. Okay, and the line is given y is equals to x. So, in place of y, just substitute x. So, you will get x is equals to x square, right? Now, bring this x here. So, you will get x square minus x is equal to 0. Take out x common, so you will get x into x minus 1 is equals to 0. So, from this you will get the values of x as x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. Okay, now we will take x is equals to 0 and we will substitute in this y is equals to x. Okay, so you will get answer of y as 0. Now, we will take x is equals to 1 and substitute here. So, you will get the answer of y as 1. Okay, so we are getting the point of intersection that is 0, 0 from here and 1, 1 from here, right? So the point of intersection are 0, 0 and 1, 1. Now we will draw the curve. Okay, so this is the line y is equals to x and this is the parabola y is equals to x square. 
okay the intersection points are 0 0 and it is 1 comma 1 now we have drawn here a vertical strip so you can see that this vertical strip starts from y is equals to x square and it ends at y is equals to x so the limit of y will be y is equals to x square to y is equals to x and the limits of x is now we have to move this strip okay so the x will change from 0 to 1 so the limits of x are x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 okay so the area is given by double integration we have this variable here so we will write here integration x square to x and this constant it is 0 to 1 outside okay and d by dx now firstly we will integrate this with respect to y keeping x constant okay so the integration of 1 dy is y and the limits are x square to x okay now substitute the limit so you will get integration 0 to 1 x minus x square dx okay now again we will integrate it so what you will get integration of x is x square by 2 minus integration of x square is x cube by 3 limits are 0 to 1 okay substitute the limit so you will get answer as 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 and the lower limit is 0 okay simplify this so you will get answer of this area as 1 upon 6 okay so this is the area we have found out which is bounded between this line y is equals to x and the parabola y is equals to x square okay now uh, next example is Find the area enclosed by the curves i is equal to 2 and r is equal to 4 in the first quadrant. Okay, so this is the example in polar coordinates. Let's begin with the solution. Now here, the region of the integration is the interior of the circle between r is equal to 2 and r is equal to 4. Okay, so first we will draw the circle r is equal to 2. Circle with radius 2. And r is equals to 4. So circle with radius 4. Right. Now the area is. Now the region is what. This is bounded between. These two circle r is equals to 2. And r is equals to 4. And we are taking only first quadrant. Right. So you can see this elementary radius vector OAB. Okay. So this elementary radius vector OAB. It enters the region. Okay. It enters from here. That is from r is equals to 2. And it leaves the circle at what r is equals to 4. Okay, so from this we can see that the limits of r are what r is equals to 2 to r is equals to 4. Okay, and you can see the theta moves from 0 to pi by 2. Okay, so the limits of theta is what theta is equals to 0 to theta is equal to pi by 2. Right, now we will find this area. So area is equal to a that is double integration 0 to pi by 2. 4 and here we have r dr d theta okay firstly we will integrate with respect to r keeping theta as a constant so integration of r will be what r square by 2 and the limits are 2 to 4 okay substitute the limit so what you will get integration 0 to pi by 2 here uh, 16 upon 2 so you will get 8 minus here 4 upon 2 so you will get 2 Simplify this so you will get 6 and the integration of 1 d theta that will be theta and the limits are 0 to pi by 2. Okay. Now again substitute the limit so you will get 6 pi by 2 minus 0. Okay. So here we have only pi by 2. Simplify this so you will get the answer of area as 3 pi. Okay. Now we will move to the next topic that is double integrals as volume. Okay. So here when a surface z is equals to f of x y is continuous on a region r and this f of x y is greater or equal to 0 for all x y in region r. When this double integration over a region r f of x y dA, this is the volume of a solid region between the surface z is equals to f of x y and the region r in x y plane. Okay, now the formula to find the volume in Cartesian coordinates using double integral is given by V is equal to double integration over R Z dx divided. Ok, 
okay so whenever cartesian coordinate is given we will use this formula to find the volume and the formula to find volume in polar coordinates using double integrals is given by v is equals to double integration over r z now in place of dx dy we will write r dr d theta okay so this is the formula uh, to use when polar coordinates are given okay so let's begin with the example find the volume bounded by the cylinder x square plus y square is equals to 4 and the planes y plus z is equal to 4 and z is equals to 0 okay so here this cylinder is shown that is x square plus y square is equals to 4 and this plane z is equals to 0 is shown and y plus z is equals to 4 is shown okay now from this we can see that the limits of z it is from 0 to make z subject here so you will get z is equals to 4 minus y okay so the limits of z are what from 0 to 4 minus y okay so now this will give you this circle that is x square plus y square is equals to 4 right uh, now we will solve this volume volume is equals to double integration over r z dx dy okay so this is the formula to find the volume now z is what 4 minus y and here we will write 2 times double integration over r 4 minus y dx dy okay now using this polar coordinates so the limits of r will be what from 0 to r is equals to 2 okay and the limits of theta will be what from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 we have to consider this portion right we have this so from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 right so the limits of theta from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and from here r is equals to 0 to r is equals to 2 now we will convert everything in the form of polar coordinates so you will get 2 times minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 from here 0 to 2 4 minus now we know y is equals to what r sin theta okay so in place of y write down r sin theta and in place of dx dy we have to write r dr d theta okay multiply this r inside so you will get 4 r minus r square sin theta dr d theta okay now we will integrate it so uh, integration of r is r square by 2 so here we have 4 r square by 2 minus the integration of r square is r cube upon 3 this theta is constant so sin theta we will keep as it is and the limits are 0 to 2 okay now substitute the limits so what you will get uh, volume is equals to 2 times integration minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 8 minus 8 by 3 sin theta d theta okay now we will integrate this with respect to theta but you can see that here we have the limits from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and sin theta is odd function okay so this integration from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 sin theta will be 0 right so this term is gone and this we have converted into uh, this integration minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 this we have written as 2 times 0 to pi by 2 okay so this 2 into 2 will give you 4 and integration 0 to pi by 2 8 d theta right now integrate it so you will get here 4 into 8 that is 32 integration of 1 d theta that is theta and the limits are 0 to pi by 2 substitute the limit so you will get pi by 2 minus 0 that is pi by 2 simplify this so you will get the answer of volume as 65 okay so i hope you have understood throughout the session thank you for watching